on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe hanging out with the lovely cat. And we have a wonderful vlog for you today. It is about an illustrator, a cartoonist, and a writer. His name is Norman Bridwell. That's right. And we are going to show you his childhood home and we'll see you there. A lot more to tell about this story. We are in the front of the home of Norman Ray Bridwell. Now Norman was born, uh, well, actually on this day, uh, February 15th, 1928. Now, Norman was a cartoonist and a uh, illustrator and an author. Um, he went to school right here in Kokomo, which is where his home, his childhood home is. Apparently, um, they did not think he was that good. Um, as a matter of fact, um, his shop teacher, within a week of taking shop class, took away his shop tools and gave him a pad of paper and a pen and said, hey, apparently you like to draw, keep doing that. He said that, that no one thought he was very good. He wasn't a very good uh, uh, you know, artist, really, and, he, and e even his stories were not you know, really that great overall. Um, so his teachers never really thought that he would really amount to, uh, you know, a, a lot, but he actually became a, a very famous author. Um, he was the uh, gentleman who created the story of Clifford the Big Red Dog. Now, in 1945, he graduated from Kokomo High School, and uh, he went on to attend the John Heron School of Art uh, in Indianapolis and Cooper Union uh, in New York. Uh, in 1962, Bridwell was married to his wife, Norma Howard. And they had a daughter, Emily Elizabeth. as well as a son named Timothy. Bridwell put together a portfolio and attempted to get a job as a children's book illustrator, but was rejected by around 15 publishing houses. While at Harper and Rowe, an editor offhandedly suggested that he turn one of his drawings into a story. The drawing was of a young girl and a horse-sized bloodhound and the story became Clifford the Big Red Dog. The book spawned over 40 bestsellers, uh, Clifford books, best-selling Clifford books, two television series, tons of merchandise, a live musical, and a live-action film that's in development. Uh, Bridwell's other successful books included The Witch Next Door and A Tiny Farm. Or, I'm sorry, and A Tiny Family. Uh, there are over 126 million copies of his books in print in 13 different languages. Uh, he wrote over 120 different books. At the time of his death, they had three grandchildren. Uh, the Bridwells resided in uh, Edgartown on Martha's Vineyard uh, from 1969 until his death. Uh, Norman Bridwell uh, died of a heart failure at the age of 86 on December 12th of 2014. Uh, his funeral was held at the Federated Church on South Summer Street in Eggertown, and his ashes was given to his son Timothy. Like I said, Norman was a great man. Um, he, he had a, 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 like I said, a wonderful family. It's just sad to see you know that he is no longer with us so I'm going to show you some other things around Kokomo um, then they are obviously most of them were probably not here when Norman was here but I will go ahead and uh, 
show you the high school if that is uh, a possibility as well while we we're here in town. Now these are the people who live in the house um, and they wanted to shout out their Instagram, so go ahead. Uh, my Instagram is young underscore love underscore x2. Go follow me. <laughs> and mine is xo little baby xo, but there's two L's in little. So there you go. Check out their Instagram. Follow them. Now, the story of Clifford the Big Red Dog is actually pretty interesting. When he wrote the story, um, he wrote it. Uh, with the title character being that of Emily Elizabeth, a little girl who, well, had a 25-foot dog, and uh, who the dog was the, actually the runt of the litter, and it was just such an interesting story because he named the dog, he named the the girl Emily Elizabeth, which is actually the name of his daughter. Um, and of course, uh, from what I've been told, uh, I don't believe that he had his uh, son at the time. He only had the daughter, um, which is why the title character, I believe, is called Emily Elizabeth. Um, but it's just such a great story. And uh, so I wanted to add that to, uh, you know, in here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, this is the school, the high school where uh, Norman Bridwell uh, went to school. And uh, this is where, like I said earlier, that you know they just didn't think that he was a uh, a very good student. And uh, you know, like I said, his shop teacher took away his, his his shop tools and and gave him a pen and paper and told him, "Hey, you like drawing? You know, go ahead and do that because you know, obviously you're not very good at the shop." You know, so um, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. If you guys remember a previous vlog, if you go back and watch my Terror Squad vlog. Um, this is actually the school that they filmed uh, Terror Squad in as well. Um, so, just a little bit of information for you. Now, this would have been the neighborhood of Norman when he was a kid. This would have been the neighborhood and the area that he grew up in. Right there is Norman's house. Well, that's going to do it for us here today. I hope you enjoyed this. This story really means a lot to me. Uh, Clifford was one of my favorite books growing up, and uh, this is really all the state of Indiana has ever done uh, for him, uh, is to give him this sign right here. So, like I said, I do, I do appreciate you guys. 
checking in on this vlog and don't forget to uh, join us on Patreon at patreon.com backslash the top vloggers. You can also join us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at the top vloggers. And it's extremely cold out here, so until next time, top vloggers.